friends, welcome to ChristianPodcast.com. My name is Beto Gudiño. I'm here with Mili, and we want to tell you everything that we experienced at the world premiere of The Chosen Season 4 mm. in Los Angeles. Mm. It was amazing. And we have a special interview with Brandon Potter, who plays the character of Quintus. He's going to tell us a little bit of uh, what his expectation is mm. for The Chosen Season 4. You're going to see behind the scenes of like all the actors talking to the media, talking to like famous YouTubers. Mm -hmm. I, we, we saw the Chosen Sleuth and I said, hey, Chosen Sleuth, <laughs> YouTuber that talks about the Chosen only. It's amazing. Like he knows like all the details of like cultural elements mm. of of what's happening, like the Jewish culture of the day. Mm. Right. And first century Galilee so he's amazing you're gonna see videos of behind the scenes of Phil Wickham coming in into the red carpet which was not a red carpet was a teal carpet you're gonna see some pictures of the entire cast coming on stage after the showing of the two episodes of the premiere of the two episodes and just thanking the people that were there and saying you know how excited they are for this and how blessed they are mm. for the the opportunity to do what they love which mm. is acting and, and presenting this story so it was awesome and Millie we're gonna have a short interview that you did with one of the the fans that was making a line right next to us well we're on the line waiting to come in to the fans experience and we have Rebecca with us so Hello. Rebecca tell us where you are here um, I'm originally from Maryland but The Chosen inspired me to go to film school so actually two years ago I got into USC film school no way. so now I live only like 10 minutes away um, and this is like a dream come true for me wow <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. so you are a follower of Jesus Yeah, yeah, and I'm now a senior. It's my last semester in film school. It's been really crazy, and a lot of times I wanted to give up. Um, but this show has been like just like so inspiring to me. Wow, yeah. sounds like yeah. a life changing. Can you imagine yeah. just to be here and yeah. go to school, and after two years, well, yeah. Yeah. And you have plans for the future? What is next? I have no idea. Oh. Yeah, but it's been crazy going from all the way across the country and living in LA now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. As a film student, yeah. how does The Chosen inspire you? Um, I think now I understand how much work, how much money it takes to create even like one thing. Like, you know, one minute can be like at least a thousand dollars to create this level of production. And I understand all the pain. And so now like I eat up like every single piece of like BTS or just like inspiration. I know how much collaboration a film takes. And so I have that much more like appreciation, especially since nobody from my hometown was in film or in the arts. So like to be, I think believers need to be all over in every single industry so that's why I decided to like be like Rebecca in the Bible and just wow. to go from her like homeland wow. yeah but it's been really difficult so it's like really encouraging to see things like this in which uh, episode yeah was like clever for you clever for me was like Nathaniel's episode of like I saw you under the fig tree I really related to that as an artist someone who's really ambitious who wanted to do great things and feeling like you have talents for God but like what is happening everything's falling apart you're not getting recognized in that humility like when you think Jesus and God is not understanding you or seeing you Jesus is like no I saw you there in your lowest moment wow. so for me I still think about that <laughs> yeah That's really really I feel like for me like I cry in every episode yeah so excited it was nice to meet you nice to thank meet you for you. your time yeah <laughs> yeah but I'm so proud of her Beto because where she's at you know she shared with us that it's been hard to be what she's at mm -hmm. you know but finally is, is almost out and I'm praying for her you know because um, what, she don't know what is going to be next mm -hmm. but the whole thing is I really enjoy to be there Everything, all the, the whole time felt like we were a huge family there. Mm -hmm. You know, the atmosphere, I never felt that before. Because we go to the movie theaters, mm -hmm. we go to theaters. But in this occasion, like everybody around us, so kind, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think... Beto, and even the actors mentioned you know why, that. And you know why? 
because what elderly people, maybe on their mm -hmm. 60s and up, mm -hmm. you know, the most. So it's people who really enjoy this. Mm -hmm. He really enjoy Jesus. I feel, mm. and they don't care what they're going to say. You know, Dallas was talking. He's like, yeah, we're a family. And the lady who was next to me, she grabbed my hand and she grabbed the hand to the other lady. She don't know us. She brought to both of us. She grabbed their hands and like, yes, we're a family. Oh, I felt her like this is beautiful, you know. And at the end, well, she was sharing with me like, oh, yeah, I flew from Sacramento and um, I'm going to spend the night at the close to the airport at the Marriott. Mm -hmm. And right away, right away, God told me, you need to bring her. You're going to help me wow. <laughs> to, uh, yeah. to help her to have the whole fan whole fan fan um experience wow you know like of course jesus it's just not not I just the show but the people no no the people wow so at the end you know i offered that to her and like oh are you sure yes yeah, hi absolutely. kathy by the way if you're watching this <laughs> hi thank you for for and writing what, with and, us <laughs> and, what a, and what a blessing beto because then but my husband you know how is always so good By asking questions, it's like, Kathy, tell us your story. Oh yes. my God, I enjoy her story a bit. Yeah, that was you a know? podcast right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. We learn a lot and mm -hmm. we enjoy the Holy Spirit. I mm -hmm. think he was with us the whole time, you know, like in this conversation. And everything was about Jesus and the transformation and how beautiful he's been working in her life and say, I'm married to God. You know, he's my husband and he take care of me. Uh, what, what's that? What's so, so beautiful. So beautiful. Yes. was awesome. Also, there were like two ladies that were in front of us, Belinda and Susie. And they're from Crestline, California, which is close mm. to like Lake Arrowhead and Big Bear. And what's so interesting, Millie, is that uh, I think they overheard that like we're eavesdropping and we heard Podcast, that you're from Christian Podcast or something. Uh -huh. And then she said, your voice sounds familiar, the accent. And, and then I mentioned, you know, how I had uh, Shannon Bream and Daryl Eves and all these people. And she's like, that's the one. I've, I've listened to that one. And I was surprised because like the first person ever that I think I, I met in person that has actually heard the show. Your podcast. Other yeah. than my friends, you know, because yeah, I know yeah. some friends like listen to it and stuff. Or oh, the people who sent us a message, mm -hmm. right? But in person to tell yes. you like, I hear you. I know you. Like, Yeah, wow, that was pretty awesome experience. Wow. But I love what you said, Millie, that it felt like family and even mm -hmm. the actors mentioned that. Mm. And it was so cool to see so many people there who were supporting the show. And, you know, the people that were right next to us, they're like, we even went to like the feeding of the 5,000. They're so cute. Which was, uh, I think you paid like 5,000 or whatever, you mm -hmm. know, I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know the amount, but you paid you know, pretty big money so that you could be among the... The 5,000 people that were, you know, where Jesus was feeding them. And what's so interesting, Millie, is that the people on our right and the people in front of us were at this experience. It's like, wow, Beto, these are true fans. Beto, we're sharing the snacks together. That's that, true. That, that's not normal. That never happens. Mm -hmm. I feel Really like kind. It was awesome experience. It felt like family. And props to like the whole crew, Dallas, like this dream, you know, like I have a, an episode with, like I said, with Daryl Leaves when The Chosen was barely starting and to see what it's become, this global phenomenon where mm. I think one of the, 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 the people in front of us, Belinda, she was saying that it's now been translated into like 600 yes. um, languages. Yes. Right. That's, that's incredible. That's yes. like an entire new level of production. Yeah. Uh, so props to them. Super excited to have been part of this. Let's watch the interview, the little interview with Brandon Potter, who plays Quintus. Okay? Let's see. Nice to meet you. What's your name? So, I think your guys are amazing. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you, Miriam. Thank you. We have our podcast. It's called Christian Podcast. Right on. And our podcast is having reviews. Is the boys reviews. Oh, sure. Oh, 
cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, can we put this for one question? One question. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there we got it. All right. Yes. Uh, what are you most excited about in season four? Season four, I think I'm most excited about about the hope that comes from despair, right? Uh, but I will say that the despair is pretty deep and pretty bleak in season four, so buckle up for that. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Get ready. Oh, don't forget your little uh, fuzzy creature there. Yes. You're the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Awesome event, Millie. A lot of like great people there. Even Greg Lordy, right? The guy from Jesus Revolution. Uh, Pastor Greg was there too. Like we saw him walk in. We mm -hmm. saw Jonathan Rumi. And we saw Paras Patel. We saw Elizabeth Tavish. Like we mentioned, we saw... Um, What's his name? Beto. And uh, Worship something, leader. something I want to mention, yes. like we laugh so much. I, I think, uh, you know, compared to the others in the past, when I cried the whole time, mm. this time is like tension, you know, like, mm -hmm. <gasps> but so many jokes. So mm -hmm. what's fun? What's fun? You yes. know, it was fun to be there. And, um, and at the end, Dallas, he's kind of funny, too. Yes, right that's what it seems he's like a comedian uh -huh. he's kind of <laughs> funny because he was saying like let us the joy of the us, lord give us your reviews and if you have nothing to say good please just don't keep it with you don't oh, tell yes. us anything we don't want to know <laughs> that's what i do on my show to Milly at the end i say give me a positive review if not i mean first why did you make it to the end of the episode right yes. <laughs> but second if you don't like it just move on right uh -huh. listen to something else like our our <laughs> pastor oh Millie, i can listen to your podcast more than five minutes but now he so, does because now you speak english better he's he's amen, been saying amen. he's been affirming you and saying millie you're oh, on another level thank you, now jesus thank you jesus <laughs> for your glory <laughs> okay well thanks everybody it was an amazing incredible experience being at the chosen season four world premiere in los angeles what a great experience what, what a, a great blessing what a blessing what a, the fanhood yes. everything the production i, I feel like we received better tonight We receive and we give. We have the opportunity to serve our sister, to bring her to the airport. And it was like, mm. we closed the night. Well, the close is good. <laughs> the close was really good. Thank you, Millie. That's really personal and intimate. <laughs> But we are married, so it's okay. <laughs> was it like a day night too, you know? <laughs> it was. Yes. It was We epic. never do that. <laughs>